stall in an airplane is not the same thing as when the engine in your car stalls, and about the only thing they have in common is the name. When we talk about stalls in an airplane, we're talking about the wings losing their ability to generate lift. When that happens, we are no longer a beautiful bird soaring amongst the clouds. We instead become just another rock falling to the ground. In this lesson, we're going to stop flying so you can see what I mean. That's right, I said stop flying. In other words, stall. As you recall from your ground school reading, wings generate lift because the air flows smoothly across the top of them. When the angle the wings are making relative to the air they are traveling through exceeds the critical angle of attack, the air can no longer flow smoothly across the top. As the wing approaches this critical angle of attack, the air begins to become turbulent. In a real airplane, we feel this turbulent air as bumpiness. Manufacturers put devices on airplanes to help us know when we are approaching the critical angle of attack. In this airplane, there's a horn that sounds. The horn sounds prior to the critical angle of attack as a warning before the stall happens. In this simulator, the word stall also appears on the screen to help us more. When the wing reaches the critical angle of attack, the wing can no longer generate lift and the nose of the airplane drops. This is the stall. When the wing is stalled, it's not flying, it's dropping. Remember, the stall is a function of angle of attack, not airspeed. Your airplane can stall at any airspeed if it exceeds the critical angle of attack. When we practice a stall, we'll purposely stall the airplane to practice the correct technique for recovering from a stall. There are only three things to remember about stall recovery. First, push the nose over. This points the nose down so that we can gain some airflow back over the wings. Second, get or keep the wings level. There is nothing more annoying than a sudden, unexpected spin on short final. Third, apply full power and raise the nose back up slightly so we don't lose too much altitude. The goal of a stall recovery is to get the airplane back under control and lose as little altitude as possible. Now most stalls occur near the ground on approach. Typically we get distracted by things outside the airplane or sometimes even inside the airplane and we forget to fly the airplane. That's the problem. It's important not to raise the nose back up too much or too fast or we'll go into a secondary stall, which is really just a stall that happens while we're trying to recover from the first stall. I want you to slow the airplane and stall it, then recover. Reduce the throttle to flight idle and maintain 4,500 feet to enter the stall. Slowly allow the airspeed to decay by increasing the pitch. Pull back on the stick to slowly increase the airplane's pitch. The idea is to slow down but maintain altitude as a means of entering the stall. As soon as the stall warning sounds, begin the recovery by allowing the nose to come down gently and apply full power. Be careful to keep the wings level and not to allow the nose to fall too far below the horizon. You're too low. Climb. There's the stall warning, so let the nose down and apply full power. Now raise the nose above the horizon for just a second to gain a little altitude, then resume straight and level flight. Speed up. Congratulations, you did your first unassisted stall recovery. Push the throttle in more. What happens if you stall with full power already applied? Let's say that you've just lifted off from an airport and are climbing with full power, as you normally do in an airplane. Suddenly, you find a big bumblebee in the cockpit. You're distracted and forget to fly the airplane as you swap the critter with both hands. Of course, all your flailing in the air means you're not paying attention to the airplane and it stalls. This is known as a departure stall. What do you do? Simple, reduce the wing's angle of attack to less than its critical value. Lower the nose to an attitude less than climb attitude. Once the airplane is no longer stalled, you can recover back to climbing attitude. Now don't worry about touching the throttle since full power is already applied. Establish a climb at 75 knots with full power. Make sure you trim for this condition too.
slow down. Gently raise the nose high enough to exceed the critical angle of attack. This simulates the attitude the airplane may default to when you're distracted. You'll know when the airplane stalls because the stall horn activates and the word stall appears. The airplane begins to pitch forward. Recover from the stall by lowering the nose sufficiently to decrease the angle of attack. When the airplane is no longer stalled, raise the nose and resume your climb. Be sure to avoid a secondary stall by not raising the nose too fast or raising it beyond the normal climb attitude. There you have it. Remember, pilots must recover from the departure stall by reducing the angle of attack first, then pulling back on the joystick to re-establish the climb. This means they must fight the almost instinctual response to pull the nose up to climb before they reduce the angle of attack first. You must actually go against your natural inclinations and push forward slightly or decrease the back pressure applied to the joystick to reduce the angle of attack to less than its critical value. Simultaneously adding power also helps assist in the stall recovery, unless you're already at full power. Then, and only then, will the airplane recover from a stall, at which point you can select a nose-up pitch attitude and climb. One of the key things to remember about stalls is, if you sense one coming on, an imminent stall, you do the things necessary to prevent a stall from occurring in the first place. This is just common sense. In other words, if you hear the stall horn, which typically activates five to seven knots above a stall, you immediately apply stall recovery procedures. If you understand this point, you understand the most important thing about stalls.